What's going on, everybody? It's Solo in the building. And if you don't know who I am, I'm a singer, songwriter, producer. I teach marketing your music, and I also teach how to trade Forex. Now, me personally, I've been doing this for about four years, so I'm going to tell you guys what I'm going to show you will absolutely work because this strategy I use as of today to take my trades and to do my analytics. <laughs> thing that you should know is scalping is definitely probably the most popular trading style that a lot of people implement in the trades you've probably seen a couple of videos on scalping these certain pairs that i'm gonna teach however i don't think there's not enough information out there to teach this so i want to give you guys as much information as i can and show you how i implement this strategy to become a successful trader now remember this strategy is is powerful it helps small accounts so I'm gonna hop in the charts show you what we're gonna do in a 15 minute time frame and pretty much guys if you have questions feel free to like and comment below because I will definitely respond and not only that I also have courses out right now if you guys want to jump in the course we get more detail on everything that I will show you in this video all right if you want to subscribe I also give out a lot of valuable free content as well so make sure you subscribe to this channel and if you have any other questions comment on this post comment on this video because I'm gonna give you guys some crazy gems. All right, so let's hop on my computer and let's see what we got going. All right, so what's going on? So I wanna literally go ahead and start this. I wanna show you guys a couple things before we get into the actual strategy um, because it's important to know these different fundamentals before you actually trade. Now, um, what this is basically, I wanna go over more of the Fibonacci and I wanna go over the Fibonacci retracements that I use, like the Fibonacci uh, percentages that I use to take my trades. Now, one thing is important is market structure price action is 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 pair and the key to knowing how to actually read a chart because without having that knowledge in your head it's kind of hard for you to kind of figure out where actually essentially the market is going to reach and then maybe pivot off that and bounce back or so forth so i want to kind of um help y'all out on, on figuring these out so let's go ahead and bring out the fibonacci uh, retracement and kind of go from there so um, if you guys hear what I'm doing is drawing the Fibonacci from the high the previous high to the low the previous low all right and basically when you draw the Fibonacci from the high point into the low point that is when you're trying to look for selling opportunities all right now what we're going to do is basically draw the charts and kind of identify pair market structure right so the first thing we're going to do is draw from the negative 27 percent then we're going to come here to the one come here to the 50 and then come all the way back down to the one and then it's going to hit the 38 then it's going to shoot back down hit the negative 27 then it's going to hit the one shoot down hit negative 61 and then bow boom so this right here is Elliott wave market structure. Basically, we're just going to stick with market structure. A lot of people look at this like that ABC, one, two, three, four, Elliott wave. It honestly, if you understand market structure, you will understand wave theory and you will understand all of that. But here is basically pair market structure, right? So you're looking at this as like a head and shoulders pattern. I mean, you got a head and shoulders pattern here. Not only that, but this is also known as a triple top not only that but this is also known as market structure elliott wave wave theory and blase blase so really what you're doing is waiting on market to break a, a, a certain a previous area and then you're going to wait on that move to happen so when market came in this zone area right here in this one percent this was a major key area because price had hit this once but not only once it had hit it twice and once market hits something twice it's considered either resistance or support area so in this instance support is below resistance is above so this is now support so that being said once we go ahead and let's say we draw this out all the way through so let's say we'll draw this all this is horrible let's go ahead and use this so say we're going to draw this all the way through right as you see once the market breaks that and it comes up here now it's resistance so that is a target for you to take the trade now how you would get in a trade is simple you will wait on the 15 minute time frame you will wait on a closing candlestick pattern 
I uh, teach this in my free series and I also teach this in my pay series, but you will understand if you understand uh, candlestick patterns, you will wait on the close of the candle. If you get the candlestick pattern and it reacts very well on this uh, major key area, then you will take the sell and you will take the sell to the next level, only the next level, right? So now the next level is you're drawing your Fibonacci from the previous high to the previous low. So this was that previous high and this right here is the previous low. So if you look here, this is perfect. I, I intentionally did not mean to do this at all. I'm just literally giving you guys basic mark structure. But as you look here, it hit the 38% perfectly. Now, if you don't know Fibonacci, basically Fibonacci is a great tool to use to find when the market is going to react off a certain level. So it can either be the 38%, the 50%, the 61%, the 78%, even the 88%. I don't have that on here because I don't really use it, but essentially you look at all of these charts or you look at all of these levels and this will give you a clear indication on when you should expect the market to change we are only going to jump on trades if we get a reaction from these levels all right remember we're scalping in a 15 minute time frame so in the 15 minute time frame after the candle stick close and we get a candlestick pattern we're going to jump in the trade all right so let's say we got our candlestick pattern here to 38 we're going to ride it to negative 27 that is our first target level all right remember you can have three take profit levels up to three for this strategy so the negative 27 and the 61 really are the top two but those are the two different um take profit areas that you want to put you will want to put your stop loss just roughly right about 10 to 15 20 pips out from your entry all right so now that you have your entry in play hopefully you're going to ride it all the way down to negative 27 to hit take profit now now this can absolutely happen and and the the trading world is not perfect any and everybody can tell you that the market could come down react perfectly off this 38 and then come back down and then go all the way back up and react off the 61 and then it shoots down that's absolutely true and that will happen but based off the strategy i'm gonna show you guys we're going to eliminate stuff like that as much as possible all right so let's go ahead and jump on the actual live charts and see what we got going on once again guys if you want to get on the course feel free to um like what i said i teach a lot more in depth on this but i'm just breaking down the strategy that i use all right so right now we are looking at the trend as a downtrend how is it this how is this a downtrend simple we see that my moving average which is a 50 moving average by the way is right up top and above my candlesticks all right and on top of that it's red so now what we're going to do is draw our fibonacci we're going to take our fibonacci from the highest point to the previous low which is right here this is the previous low this is high and this is the previous low so we're just taking our fibonacci and i'm gonna just show you guys how you will trade this pair all right so let's say we go into here, right? And then we drew our Fibonacci from here. So so I drew my Fibonacci from here to here. So now if you look, you see we have this long wick and this long green candle. Now, nine times out of 10, you guys would have had gotten for a buy, but essentially, obviously you see that didn't happen. So what we're going to do now is just see what market is going to do. If the candlestick give us a great indication to take a sell, then we're going to take the sell. So essentially, I didn't get the proper sell opportunity until right here. This is a candlestick pattern called a bearish engulfing candlestick. All right these are absolutely my favorite candlesticks i love to trade off these you will only enter the trade after this candle close so let's say you got in the trade let's say you put your entry right here wrong one let's say you put your entry right here right and you move your stop loss just roughly about here and then you ride this one to one one to two one to three really you're scalping so you're just in and out of trade so we're not going to say oh you should trade one to three usually i do one to threes but honestly since you have this fibonacci setting set you don't really need to focus on one to twos one to threes yes you do for risk reward ratio but specifically for this strategy you do not have to really worry about that because you're only focusing on the 
levels that's with the Fibonacci. All right. So now if you look here, we successfully got our one to one, right? We got in right here and it went down. It hit our first take profit. And guess what? It hit our second take profit. So let's say we won two trades. So let's go ahead and put two wins. We're just going to count all of our losses and all of our wins by just sticking to the same strategy. We're not going to change it up at all. There's no need for us to change this up. So we're going to now. So now since we identified this was the previous low, we're going to draw it out because remember market structure. You have to understand market structure. Once you have a low or a high that's created, the market has to come back in that area and act against it some type of way. Usually it's going to reject it or usually it might just spike out of it. But if it does something like that, it's because of news, which is important to make sure you have that information in play before you take the trade. You have to read the news and know what's going on with the news. All right. So let's say you got in this trade, right? You got in, you made, you, you, you got your two wins, right? Okay, so now you're waiting on the market to do it again. So guess what? We got our wick right here, rejection right here. We never got the proper candlestick. We never got a bearish engulfing candlestick. The bearish engulfing is when the red is um, engulfing the green candle. We never got it, but guess what? We got it right here. So since we got it right here, I am going to do it again. So I'm going to draw my high. Or draw my Fibonacci so let's see we're drawing our Fibonacci from the previous high to the previous low so we're actually going to take it from here if I can get this going from here to here this is the previous low we got it again this is this is this is what I'm saying guys we got it again I mean this strategy is pair pair priceless I mean you can just dominate with this so if you look here you see that we got another bearish and golf and I know my I'm sorry that this looks all over the place but uh, I just want to show you guys how powerful this is so if you look here you see that this was a bearish and golfing it's a huge huge red candle bunch of sellers in the, the price action is amazing right now but look, we got another one to one. As long as you have a one to one, it's a good trade to take. So if you do your markups before you consider taking this trade and make sure that it's a one to one, then this is a potential for you to enter. All right. So after this candle closed in a 15 minute time frame, we enter. OK, we in it for uh, yeah, let's see, 15, 30, 45, an hour, 115. So we literally within an hour, we if you would have did a standard, you definitely would have made almost like 100, 300 bucks. I don't know the pips. I haven't even counted the pips, to be honest with you. I just want to keep this video straight to the point. But if you look here, guys, this, this, <laughs> yeah, you would have made 200 bucks, 200 bucks if you would have stuck this trade in for literally an hour uh, with a standard. And not even I know the spread is all over the place with COVID, so it's kind of you know hard to really kind of tell you exactly how much. But you definitely would have been catching some pips, um, 20 pips right here, about 26 pips right here. But like what I said, remember you also have pips right here, so you're definitely doing 150 to 100 pips per day, literally, and that's phenomenal. All right, so you literally let's say you caught another win. Okay, so let's go ahead and count this as three wins, no losses. Right now we have three wins, no losses. I use the strategy and I'm, man, I'm giving you guys so much free information. I just want y'all to really know that I'm here to help out and give a lot of valuable content because I've been in the same boat like YouTube. Like I've been watching so many YouTube videos and this is how I got into trading. Like I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos. I didn't really have the money to pay for mentorship. So I just started watching YouTube videos and all this and that. But then honestly, what I found out is like, I really got into reading books on, on wave theory and market structure because I've been seeing a lot of people talk about it, but they don't reason why I know a lot of people don't talk about it is because they want to just teach the basics and just have people start making money right away which is cool but i feel like if you know market structure you can have your charts can be completely naked all you got is candlesticks and you will dominate i literally use just i don't have any indicators i use indicators like the rsi the macd and all of these other things but honestly i really don't need to use it because of the knowledge i have implemented in my head on how market structure and price action work and that's that's facts if you can kill that and then you got your fib notching and then you got your moving averages your wins would be crazy like you would be like almost 90 percent and higher i'm not trying to 
juice your head up but man it, it's possible it's possible so let's go ahead and stop talking so look you got you got it it went to negative 27 right and then if you let's say let's say you waited on the trade remember you are scalping so you in and out you only in for about an hour tops maybe a Mm, two hours entry day traders are in it for a few hours uh half a day or whatever it is a swing trader is in it for almost an entire week to a month whatever the case is but we scalping so of course you're not going to hold the trade out but let's just say you decide to because you trust the strategy and guess what i believe this is like look at this hold on so we got in the trade right here right so this is still within a day so within a day you would have made four you would have made you would have made have four winning trades so guess what we're four for zero right now it's crazy i don't know what to tell y'all but oh my gosh i feel like so let's say essentially we got in right here i know i missed this part but let's just go ahead and go back let's say we got in so this is where we took our profit right and then now we're waiting on market to come again typically we will wait on the market to come in this area but however since the market didn't like spike as far down as this move right here so if you see this is a major move from the previous low in order for in order for me to be to say like okay i needed to hit this previous low the market has to do something like this the impossible move have to be dominant that i want to just be like okay once it retests it's going to do a big retest and guess what it did right here however since the market did not do that here i'm not expecting the candles the candles to hit here and then shoot down remember that okay so in order for you to wait on price to hit the next previous low it has to be a big move like this otherwise if it's a small move like this it's nine times out of ten going to either range or if not range is going to give you another higher low or lower low vice versa just depends from that previous previous area which is still fine because it's never broke structure right only way it would really break structure if it passes this so as long as the candles does not close out of this and then retest and then act as support then we're fine so essentially we got it right here now why did i not take my trade right here why did i take it here now i'm looking at this wick and i see it's a long wick and i usually don't trade like that so considering that this isn't the best best safe candle i am not going to take the trade why because i see we have a long green candle and then we have this nice 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 little long green candle here but it's a long wick so at a point there was a bunch of sellers in here but the buyers came in and dominated so looking at this candle i'm seeing that they're doing the same thing so i'm not going to take the trade right now because i don't feel comfortable i'm thinking okay maybe it's not safe to take it however i would have gotten right here because i got the perfect candlestick pattern not only that i got a mini double top which i teach in my course right here and this is another strategy that i teach on how to trade without looking at any indicators so i'm going to get in the market right here and i'm going to ride this from from the next level with my fibonacci so i take my fibonacci remember i'm drawing from the previous high to the previous low this was the previous high this is the low now you're asking why am i not drawing it from here to here this isn't a big move y'all yeah you see here yes you definitely got it the strategy will work the strategy will work but i'm looking at the bigger picture so i'm drawing it from here to here right and i'm going to ride this all the way down because i don't mind holding my trades at all right i don't mind holding my trades because this strategy is the best strategy you can use so if you look here guys you got it right here and this is a perfect sniper entry this is a sniper entry right here this is a sniper entry i'm going to ride this to that first level right and then i'm going to ride it as you see this is a one two three so this is like the best trade ever <laughs> and then you ride it to your one to six so now look at that you got the trade you got the win again so now we're five wins and we haven't even lost a trade yet and this is my one of my favorite pairs as you see i got four pairs here but the gbp usd is like one of my favorite pairs i love to trade just because everything on it is amazing it, 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 the volatility in this is is non-stop right i love trading during london session i love trading through new york session i mean 
it, it that's what i'm saying like this the volatility of this pair just it's just consistent so looking here you see that you got it yeah it, it didn't give it like you got it right here but you never really hit take profit until uh, a couple hours in but i'm cool with that i'm cool with that I, like right now we're like 150 pips in right now for just one day we still in one day so guess what if you want to ride this let's say let's just say this let's say you wrote the trade to one to six right the typical strategy this is how i usually trade you lost it okay so guess what we got five wins and we got one loss so let's go ahead and and, and look at this we got five wins and one loss cool we still in the money baby that's what i'm trying to tell y'all like we still in the money so it's nothing to worry about all right so now when market does reverse and do something crazy like this i am going to wait on the market to because this is this was the previous um this was the previous market structure area right here right this was that previous high so now we're just going to wait to see if the market is going to give us another candlestick pattern and then on top of that we're going to draw our fibonacci from the previous low to the previous high right here so if it reacts on any of these levels and give me my candlestick pattern and i'm taking the trade guess what i essentially never really got it all right reason why i don't take trades like this now you would have said e why you didn't get in right here because the market was in a downtrend in order for me to really feel comfortable in taking this trade i needed to retest in this area again if it's going to reverse on me it has to prove itself in which it did right here it proved itself right here it gave me a double bottom is what i would call it but it essentially gave me a retest because it came up came back down in the 78 percent and then it went up so if i wanted to get in a trade right here then i'm absolutely going to get in a trade now what i'm going to do now the crazy part is you can't essentially really draw your fibonacci from here to here because if you really look at it it's just like hold on it's crazy but just to show you guys something crazy technically this doesn't always work like this i just want to let you guys know 100 percent this doesn't always work like this but i'm drawing it from the body because looking at the wick it's inaccurate and it's not really giving me a lot of great data like this is the uh, accurate area of support so i'm going to draw it from here just because i see two candles the bodies had hit this uh area right here so i'm going to use this and i'm going to pull it out so yes if you would have drew it from the previous low to the to that next high and then you would have got in right here you would have absolutely made your money and then you would have definitely do it but i don't usually trade like that but i just want to show you that this method will work you would get way more wins and losses all right so this is definitely a strategy that i i teach my students um not only that but I, like what i said guys i'm giving out so many gems to you i just want to let you know like it is possible regardless of what your what, whatever it is that you do like me i'm a music producer i'm a music artist and also i do a lot of coaching on how to be successful in the industry as far as marketing your music and and trading of course and all of this stuff so I definitely want you know what i'm saying to help everybody out as much as i can so stick with this strategy man and it works really great for the um british pairs it works phenomenal for DAW, which is US 30, which is my favorite pair. I love to trade. Um, S&P 500 is actually something I just started trading. I actually trade this a lot with my like my small account that I, you guys will see me post videos on. I'm actually my, if you guys wanna see a video, if you wanna see a video of me flipping a $100 account like live, meaning like, I'm not just gonna just say, oh, $100 account, woody woody. I'm literally going to be live recording me trading on YouTube showing you this hundred dollar account that i'm gonna flip into a thousand dollars or even more because like what i said i did that twice flipped a hundred dollar account to a thousand dollars to 3k i could do it again because this is really high trade i literally do this an hour 15 minute <laughs> like this will work for whatever time frame you have i love doing it in an hour and 30 minutes because i'm more of an entry day trader but i do scalping if i'm really focused on the computer if not then i just leave it but entry day trader i would definitely do it because i get more profit that's what i usually do when i have a smaller account when i have um a bigger account i like to scout more like maybe a thousand bucks i just get in get out get in get out but really what i'm trading when i have a bigger account is us 30 because us 30 is a beast and, then, and literally it moves crazy like that first move you better be in there because it's going boom 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 you know my homie made 100k 
when the news had hit about COVID when it dropped. So it <laughs> from a thousand dollar account. So I'm telling you guys, it's it, like trading forex is definitely something for you because it, it it mentally gets you in a better place um patience is key and it teaches you that for sure but um other than that guys make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel i'm gonna be dropping a lot more content on music marketing on forex trading and also just dropping a lot of other gems too so make sure you subscribe and also get the course on my youtube it's on the link down below and i'll see you guys soon peace and love solo we out